Okay, alright. I think it's time for a short video. Um, I had a request. I, I had made a comment in one of the videos on the adjustments for one of these cheap gimbals. I hope there's enough lighting in here to see this well. But the uh, BGC 2.2, the 8-bit version. And I figured this would be a good time to show if, if, if the video is bright enough in here. My actual setup, I've got my gimbal t attached to the bottom. Um, my FPV is attached right here. This is my USB plug for my gimbal. But this is my transmitter for my FPV. And I've got a cloverleaf antenna attached to it. Uh, my power and everything comes out and goes to the front Goes and ties into this camera. There's two cameras on my bird. This is my FPV camera and It's mounted right to the door with some standoffs and that's what these wires are here and then the power wire actually goes in And it uses a uh, a balance plug and plugs directly into the balance on the battery itself so that's how I powered my FPV I wanted to power it separate so that's how I did it and I just uh, put a little notch in the side of the doorway here so that a wire would go through it without pinching it and basically that's all I did uh, my gimbal I've got it unplugged right now uh, the white wire is my signal wire. The red wire and the black wire right now are not tied into anything. But on this red plug, I have my 12 volt source coming in here and my ground there. So the only thing that's really hooked up is three wires. So that's all you need to make this gimbal work properly. You need your ground, your power, and the white wire, your signal wire. The only reason I did this is because that's the plug I had, and, but on the other end it's not even hooked up except for the signal. Right now I've got it unplugged so that I can plug it into my computer so I can show you how this is set up. And Somebody requested that I show them what my settings are, and this is about the only way I know how to do it. Hopefully when I get it plugged in you can see what happens, so let's go ahead and plug it in. Okay, I plug it in. All right, so in here, what happens is it powers up the board. You can see the green light come on. So the board's powered up. That's why I didn't plug this in because I don't need the board to be plugged up or powered up from two different sources because if I'm afraid if I ran power, that's how a lot of people burn these boards out in the XK, I believe, is during setup time and during times when they plug these in and out, when it, if this is powered up, it's not a good idea. The best time to power these or plug these in is when everything's completely disconnected. So you don't want to have your main battery plugged in when you plug these two wires in here. You want that completely dead when you plug it in. Okay, so I've got my uh, game capture software configured so that I can do, uh, so I can uh, capture my s simple BGC program, the user interface. So you can take a look at what my settings are. Uh, what I need to do is I plug in my quadcopter, the gimbal, and then and connect it. <coughs> Let's do that real quick. That's what I'm doing now is connecting. Okay, first thing I need to do is go to connection. It's on basic page. 
page one. Uh, my connection is on COM5. So, and then you push connect. Okay, so that brings up everything that uh, is uh, on my gimbal with the firmware that's running in my gimbal and the settings. Now, I'm not going to change anything, everything's working good for me. And I just wanted to show everybody what settings I'm using for the cheap uh, CNC 2D DJI gimbal supposedly DJI and I'm using an SJ4000 so my settings are different than if it was a GoPro or something like that GoPros are heavier so some of these settings would be different uh, first page shows you the PID controller um, settings so this is what I've got set for my roll and pitch and then my power settings which is uh, for the motor configuration I've got my roll set at 140 and my pitch set at 120. Um, my numerical poles, 14 on each. I think those are default settings. Uh, pretty much everything there is default the way I got it. Uh, next page would be advanced page. Now this page here uh, I think the default settings are already there except for I did change the high low setting here on the PWM frequency and what that does is it, uh, it alleviates the noise that you get when you first plug your gimbal in a lot of times they're set on low from the factory and it gives you a, a squealy noise or a pitch a high pitch noise and you can eliminate that by changing that high low setting. I'm leaving mine alone. I'm leaving everything alone. Everything's set. I just wanted to show you what my settings were. Okay, RC settings. This is the important one for the tilt. Uh, you go on PWM I believe is the default setting. Uh, the roll, there's no input because you're not using uh, your controller to to activate a roll but you are using it for pitch so you gotta have your pitch set for pitch which is RC underscore pitch right here and then down below uh, the minus 90 and plus 90 for minimum and maximum here I believe are default settings they're not being used actually uh, on my pitch I used minus 120 and positive 170 for minimum and maximums and what that does is it gives you full range of motion on your camera for the pitch and then I'm not sure what the LPF means but I left that alone that's a default setting uh, my speed mode I left all those at 10 I believe those are default too so uh, follow mode uh, that's dis disabled I think that's just basically for um, like if you got a DJI Phantom and it has follow mode it uses that to control the pitch and whatnot on your gimbal while it's following you uh, menu buttons now I've changed mine I believe the default setting is two clicks would be set tilt angles by hand uh, I changed mine so that one click is set tilt angle by hand two clicks is calibrate the accelerometers and three clicks is calibrate the gyro now once you do the accelerometers and the gyro you should never have to do it again uh, you might in some cases but I've got these three sets so that uh, I can push the button on the gimbal one time for my tilt angles two times for my accelerometers and three times for my gyro you, you could probably just leave that on default as long as you remember what your uh, tilt angle set setting is which I believe default is uh, two clicks okay real-time data what that is is uh, if I go over here and move my gimbal you can see what it does it shows you what the uh, accelerometers and the gyros are doing the XYZ axis it's not really critical it's just a uh, visual so you can see what's going on you know if I change my pitch or if I change my roll the roll is the red line the pitch I believe is the yellow line 
and then of course too it's got a compass and I usually when I do my calibrations I try to set my quadcopter up so that it's facing north just just so my compass and my gyros and stuff like that are pretty much set on default north setting other than that the only thing that's left is the last page which is a firmware update page um, you can use that to update the firmware I didn't do anything on mine I left it alone I left it on default because it works fine um, and there it is there's my uh, settings I'll run through them real slow again just so you can look at them uh, you can always pause the video too and look at them and there we are that should do it for that and get, we'll get back to the regular video now anyhow I hope that helps on when you get done click the disconnect and that'll disconnect it and then you can unplug it so now I'm unplugged I'm disconnected okay so I want to put my plug my gimbal in before I power up the quadcopter okay gimbal's plugged in I'll turn my transmitter on uh, I usually move this a little bit so up and down before I turn the quad on that seems to set the transmitter And power up the quadcopter. And as you can see, got my red flashing lights, my gimbal's moving. See, I painted a little thing on my wheel, so that's level right there. So if I want to go down, one full turn is about halfway down. One, uh, that's almost that. About one and a quarter turn is full, full down, as far down as it'll go. And then move it back one full turn. It should go back up to level. There we have it. There's my gimbal. Let's see if you move it too far, it goes to the stop point and won't go any further, so you gotta get it back up there. So right there is a full down. And right there is about level. So there we go. should do it and we're all set to go for a flight the gimbal should be working there we go now all I do is put my props back on I can get this video out and make it make it decent enough so you can understand what I went through or what I did. 